What's up guys, it's Huso7 here, and I've got a video showing you everything you need to know about the new Nuketown Zombies map um, that is now available for Season Pass holders. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this map, but I was initially confused about the perks um, and where they were spawning and how they were coming in, so I want to take a minute just to explain that. The first thing you need to know is that the perk spawns in Nuketown are completely random, um, kind of like in Temple or Moon um, or even uh, Swamp. Um, these perks, your setup might not look the same as mine, so uh, that's okay. The perks do spawn in, and I'll show you all of the possible locations. And also, the perks are not available at the start. They will spawn in um, at a various time um, that I'll show you what to, to look for and what to listen for. So, the first thing you need to do is just start killing some zombies. The quick revive and solo is available at the start. But when you are ready to get some more perks, what you need to listen for is this noise. Alright, when you hear that duck and cover, nuke incoming noise, that means that a perk is coming, and you'll see, oh, you can see it hits the ground sort of like a meteor and drops my quick revive right there, um, which I'll pick up. So that will happen, um, and that's how you get new perk spawns, which I believe happens every 100 kills in um, solo. You can check the board right out front near the clock, and when you hear that clock tick, that means that your kill counter has reset. So now I'll show you all of the possible locations. So to show you them, I'm going to start everyone from this red garage, which is under this um, destroyed clock tower. And we'll call this area center, and the first possible perk location is this stack of boxes, right when you spawn into your right. The next location is going to be if you come around this boulder, right up next touching the greenhouse. The third location is going to be under the garage, go prone to get under it, and it's going to be inside this garage in the greenhouse. Alright, there's one more location in this outside middle area, and it's going to be over here in this alleyway next to the yellow house. And if you see these boxes, that means that that's a possible perk or pack-a-punch spawn location. Alright, if we head back to our red garage, I'm going to show you the next house, which is the greenhouse, and where the locations are in here. You'll have to open some of these doors, but what we want to do is get into the backyard. And in the backyard, you'll see that a location is right up here next to the box, which happens to be my perk punch. If you head back here into the garden, there's another possible perk spawn. There's only two for this greenhouse. Um, I guess the garage, um, I counted in the middle, but some people count the garage as a green spawn. So um, I'll go back out and show you the yellow. All right, from our red garage again, we're going to come over here to our yellow house. Yellow house. And what we want to do is open these doors and head right upstairs and make a hard left to find our first possible perk spawn. If we head out into the backyard, there's several more out here. This one happens to be back in this alley, and it's a pretty dangerous um, spawn location. Be careful if you're coming in here because you can get mobbed at the entrance. The next one is back here in this corner, and the final one is right here in front of the fireplace. Now, uh, as I mentioned, a Pack-a-Punch can spawn at one of these locations too, and I'll show you how that works. When you have a Pack-a-Punch spawn location, you can use it immediately. As well as the perks, there's no power in this map. You'll see that the Pack-a-Punch is actually running on a battery. So you can put your weapon in um, immediately, you just have to wait for it to spawn. And again, the spawn order is completely random, so I happened to get this second. It was a great game. Um, and I was able to get Juggernog and then Pack-a-Punch, so it worked out really well. But it is random. Now, if you're wondering about mystery box locations, I'll show you those as well, starting from our red garage. Our first location is going to be right back here under this, uh, like, archway next to the yellow house. If we head into the yellow house backyard... see that there's another possible location back here in the corner. Again, be careful when you're trying to hit that one because it can be dangerous and I got down there trying to get the box. And the last location is right in here in this greenhouse and then finally back here in the corner in the greenhouse backyard which happens to be where my box is. So that's everything for this uh, map. Um, enjoy and I hope you guys have a great time playing Nuketown Zombies. Alright guys, thanks for watching, but I got some more zombie content for you right here. The video on the left is my personal solo strategy, how I was able to get um, into the high level rounds and what strategy I was using. And the video on the right is an announcement that Nuketown 2025 Zombies is available for season pass holders if you didn't know. Um, it's a pretty big announcement from the date 12-12-12, so check it out.